Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Photo Count, and welcome back to the channel. It is obvious what is the best part of FC24 right now, and it is evolutions once again. Here we are with another crazy evolution, and guys, some people are calling it maybe the best evolution that we have had this entire year of Ultimate Team. It's making prices crash and making prices boom at the same time with player prices everywhere because people are excited for this evolution. We have to talk about that, all the other SBC content that happened yesterday, prices that are moving on the market, and of course, more of that happening today. Icon slash Hero Pack Sunday. What are we going to get? Can we invest? Some prices are already going up, but could they go up even further? We'll talk about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe, if you're new now really quick i want to point this out in objectives it needs to be said if you're preparing for and looking head to tomorrow on monday the fc pro season four objective was dropped yesterday and this is kind of like watching the rest of these games the second set and second stage of these games for the pro event more pro events being played on monday group a is back in action watch specifically kolomani and Mane. those are the two live cards Three, I guess, with Malin in packs that could be upgraded even further based on those games. So just watch out for those cards. Wanted to shout that out for some of you guys that are interested in that. And then also completing those objectives by watching those games. Now, let's get into the fun stuff, right? Yesterday, we had the 84 times 5 which by the way, I have to say, I think that SBC design and the pack designs with the versus Fire and Ice do look pretty sick. Small things, WEA for the graphics team. Another upgrade pack on a Saturday. It's been Saturdays recently as I just looked back the past couple of weeks. The 83 times 10 the 84 times 5 they've been dropping on saturdays and yet again team of the weeks are acquired like we talked about in yesterday's video a little bit of a higher risk for the investment but they seem to almost go up every week if you bought team of the weeks you're looking good they're up from 30,000 coins to about 34 to 35,000 coins a card and they could continue to go higher depending on the rest of the content that could be upcoming soon. I mean, a team of the week is 35,000 coins and the price of the 84 times five is 40K. Guys, this is an SBC that you should probably get done if you want to grind it. You can once, especially once we get either the 80 plus player pick or if you want to grind it through the winter wild cards crafting upgrade, it is very easy to get that low 81, 82, 83 rated fodder just to get in here. You can get that same rating of fodder to do an 83 plus team of the week player pick, get yourself that 84 times five crafted and open it or save it for team of the year i'm a fan of upgrade packs like that now also yesterday we had a maldini sbc and we mentioned how there was some leaks about maldini it wasn't officially leaked until yesterday before content and then it was this is an sbc guys that is crazy this early in the game yeah we had the blanc sbc right that was nice but this early in the game i know we're in 2024 now but we're like not even halfway through technically the calendar year cycle of this game and we have a center back that is incredible in terms of how good he is in game that is now available to everybody via SBC, right? 1.2 million coins on the market is what he was before the SBC dropped. That's also the price of his SBC in this game. It's just so much more easy for people to craft it, especially with all the packs that they give out. If you want to spend the time to grind and get it done, you can. This is a card that is crazy because he's kind of like VVD in a sense, and maybe even a good example is like comparing him to Hullet. Remember how people were like, ah, Hullet's really expensive. His Winter Wild Cards icon's a baby version. It's not going to be good. Hullet is just kind of like always good because it's Hullet, right? I would agree with Maldini being in that same category. He's just always good because it's Maldini. His player type and game, he's got a four-star weak foot. His defending stats are insane. You can look at this card and say, yo, he doesn't have that many play styles. He can't be that good, right? He is. It's Maldini, right? So it's that sort of situation with this card. And that's why even though the price is more than what his card is on the market, there is a ton of hype for this SBC. This is one that I look at and I say, center back's one of the weakest spots in my team. This could be a Maldini card that just replaces Blanc that's been in my team for ages just because he's that high level of a center back, right? So that's one thing I would kind of mention to you guys. It's going to be out for a long time. The SBC is out <clears throat> for 30 days, so you can craft it during Team of the Year if you want to do that. This is a card you can put in your team, and he will last you past Team of the Season if you want to. He is that good of a center back. Um, again, personal opinion comes in here, but crazy, crazy SBC from Maldini. And it's making a couple things happen in terms of the fodder, higher tier fodder. Right away when I saw the Maldini League yesterday, I was busy yesterday all day. I really didn't do too much on the market at all, but I went out and I literally bid on like one Harry Kane and one Benzema. 
90 rated. When I saw that Maldini was coming, I got him for 50k. These cards went from about 50,000 coins up to almost 60k. The high rated fodder because of the Maldini having some high rated SBCs and having so much hype, you can see here 93% upvoted. That high rated fodder is going up. Even with a little bit of lightning rounds yesterday, it's going up because people are doing this SBC because it's Maldini, right? And on the flip side, center backs across the game have graphs like this, especially some of the middle to higher tier ones are down big. Lucio down a hundred and what 160,000 coins he was almost 700k now he's 520,000 coins I saw a player like Edra Militao you could probably look at most center backs on this game and they're probably down in value because of this SBC from 740 all the way down to 600,000 coins so center backs are in the mud because of that I would say on some of the rare and out of packs ones that are very very meta and very very rare you could keep an eye on those that could be a good place to be trading and watching the market if you find some really big lows like company was 560 now he's back up to 600,000 coins not a crazy trade there but you find a good rare card that is a popular center back and you might be able to make some coins from it so that was the SBC content that was dropped yesterday we also had new players in packs with a mini release EA likes these mini releases on Saturdays now instead of Sundays they're keeping the trend going from winter wild cards and I gotta say out of this mini release Upamakano and, and Firmino look pretty nice I think Upamakano's fire card looks insane I mean, look at those stats with block plus play style. I would do, I would start this card at right back and then move him, swap him with a center back or maybe start five back or something. I don't know if he can play a right wing back or not, but somehow get him to center back in game. However, you can do that because this looks like a crazy center back. I know he doesn't have a four star weak foot like the ice version has, but this fire version has so many more stats. Like, yes, you lose a couple pace and uh, the defending and physical, but like that, the passing and the dribbling upgrade is insane for the fire card. So that's a really good looking card in my opinion. The Firmino center mid card looks really cracked too. I mean, it is really expensive. 500,000 coins. Evidently, he was extinct at 750 for a bit yesterday. Uh, but guys, always remember that the mini release cards are a lot more rare. I doubt that he's even really worth 500k. I think he'll drop off a good amount. Uh, but that is a really good looking card right there, especially with the dribbling stats and being five star, four star. And then the other ice Firmino just doesn't look that great, but he is a striker and he's pretty cheap if you want to try out a special uh, Firmino card. So that was our content yesterday and everywhere, but objectives uh, sorry evolutions I already went to objectives evolutions right this is where everybody is looking right now in this game and this is where the hype is honestly man we've talked about evo so many times this year in so many different ways prices that go up prices that go down because of evolutions and also just the crazy things you can do with evos this is the leaked evo that we were talking about in yesterday's video that did make prices move and some cards like rodrigo go extinct now a lot of cards like that are extinct because this is a crazy evo like the upgrade and the amount of players that you can put into this is honestly a power curve booster it's like ea didn't even boost the power curve that much with this versus promo but with this evolution right here since it's free i mean it's a hundred thousand coins to do but the evolution is play to upgrade right you don't have to pack a card or go buy a card off the market once you do this evo you have it in your team, you have that card untradeable and it never loses value or changes value ever, right? And so many people do these. These are the best part of content this year entirely when the content's good, right? We say that, but it's the biggest change and the biggest W change they've made in a while. And it's, it's a change like this and content like this that really confirms that. This is insane, guys. The amount of old cards that you can put into this. Kulusevsky fits this? No way. Wait, what does this card look like after being fully evolved? Trevella plus five star week with four star skills. No way. That is an insane card. 84 shot power, and he's got Trevella plus and finesse shot and relentless and flare. Oh my goodness, man, dude. <laughs> that's, that's insane. I didn't know that. I've got Alvarez, Bella, and Weya that also fit this Evo for special cards in my club. Yo, that's crazy. But with this Evo, it is pretty easy to get done. You do have to win a good amount of games. Win five, win five, and then um, play five rivals or champs. But you're getting a play style plus, plus eight finishing, plus five attack positioning, a weak foot boost. So many good boosts as a part of this. They're making you pay for it, right? It's 100,000 coins or a what seems cheap 500 FC points, which is like $5. EA is making bank off of these Evos. And the fact that you can do it twice too, I absolutely love it. So EA... 
I mean, this is one of the craziest EVOs of the year. I think the only reason why it's 45% downvoted on Footbin is because people really dislike paid EVOs. But the combinations that you can make out of this are crazy. Here's what I would tell you to do. If you don't like it because it's paid, go work for a couple of days on trading. Even if you're on like a 10K budget, you can trade with silvers, you can trade with bronzes, you can trade with nine rare golds to get yourself up in coins to afford this 100,000 coin pack. Play games, save your weekend rewards, take tradable rivals rewards, take uh, the best um, playoff rewards you can get. If you save up your coins, you can get 100,000 coins in a matter of a week or two weeks just from playing the game and getting rewards, to be honest, and doing the daily tradable SBCs and grinding the menus. It's not that hard to get 100K. It just does take a little bit of work. But when you see the cards that you can get out of this, it's crazy. Malin is number one most popular right now, but I will say... A lot of us probably don't have the Founders and Founders upgrades available anymore because those have been out now for a couple of weeks and you might have already used them. Just make sure once again, as we've looked at recently, when you're taking a look at some of these Evos, make sure you're not missing that some of them have multiple steps to get them to be this insane of a card. This is card is 5 star, 5 star with all the play styles. That he, like this is a disgusting card for the stats that he has. In January, 93 dribbling, 95 pace. This is borderline a team of the season-esque card. Like, this is a card that would be in packs and in the game in March. But you can get him through using Evos in this game. Of course, his gold card is 10,000 coins extinct on the market. Uh, the Alvarez, which I can't make that Alvarez in my club look this good because I didn't do the Centurion Striker one. Double regret now for not doing that. That's a crazy looking card too. Taliska, the, the informs and the special cards that are now up on the market because of this too look amazing olise even that's i didn't notice that he could fit at this evo in 93 dribbling for him 91 passing i mean four star three star is not that great but there are so many incredible options and of course it has got prices moving everywhere you've got rodrigo you've got malin extinct i believe kavicha i thought he was extinct maybe not he's seven thousand coins what did he do yesterday he was up at 9k and then dropped a lot after that crazy crazy amounts of price changes all the informs that fit this evolution like Taliska is extinct the Felipe Anderson Centurions card is extinct it's making so many inform come on extinct it's making so many of these cards go extinct on the market because people are putting them into this evolution so it's crazy right it's impacting the market a lot in a lot of different ways now the flip side of the market impact is a lot of people since they're getting new right wings look at the top cards that are down in the last day you know, you've got, yeah, some center backs in here, but you've got also a lot of wing players. Vinny Jr., Graham Hansen, Caroline Graham Hansen yesterday, what was her price? 300,000 coins. She went all the way down to 260 where she is now, 249. Because why would you have a tradable Hansen in your team if you could go do this Evo for 100,000 coins and get yourself a brand new, maybe Rodrigo to replace her, or maybe you had Rafinha in your team. Look at this drop on Winter Wild Cards, Rafinha, from 400K down to 300,000 coins, and he just started to rebound a little bit. Because again, just like we looked at with Lucio and some of those center backs, he's a rare out of packs card, very hyped. Uh, the Rafinha evolution looks really cracked too, if you put him into finisher. Let me show you this card real quick. It is a bit different from the Winter Wild Cards one because you don't get the five-star skills, but you get you get way better shooting, you get better pace, and uh, better passing as well. So, and the Trivella Plus, which is which is pretty crazy, guys. This evolution is is insane, man. But here's what I would tell you: it, like I just saw that Kulusevsky, and that is that's crazy to me, right? Like I'm I'm probably gonna have to spend one of these on Kulusevsky. I would not commit just yet to both of these even if you have two ideas for a player that you want to put in it because there are some other leaks which we'll talk about in a second that say some players will be able to put what they do in finisher into yet a, another evolution so like it we always say with a lot of this evo stuff it usually is better to wait because then you will probably save yourself the pain of doing the evolution and maybe being happy with your car but then seeing something else that happened you're like oh my goodness like this this card would have been way better so why did i do this evo too early so maybe hold off a day or two or three or maybe even a week if you can if you can stand it um i know that the time is is money and time is valuable especially if you're putting a meta card in your team like it's 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 valuable to have that meta card in your team to use to get better rewards to play better and stuff like that but maybe wait a bit which we'll talk about in a second now for the rest of the market i want to mention this too when we have insane evos this is something that happens all the time too right when we have incredible evos that are paid 
it hurts parts of the market that aren't even in that position. Like, yeah, right wings are down a lot because of that evolution. But look at Mukiele. He's down 10,000 coins since yesterday. Since it's a paid Evo, it takes coins off the market. People have to go sell maybe an investment. A lot of people invested in this Mukiele or other Winter Wildcard players. As I take a look at a lot of these, they're down a little bit. Of course, Doku being right wing is down. Walker being a center back is down. But some of these other cards that rose up really well have dropped back down a little in price. And I really think it's because people are selling some of this to go do the Evo, which this Renato for 380 looks really low. Um, but, you know, you can just see that a lot of prices on the rest of the market, not even affected to the positions of this Evo, are down. And it's really because I think, especially if you did the finisher Evo twice, that's 200,000 coins that have been taken off the market for so many people uh, already because of, again, that evolution. And since it's so hype and there's a lot of demand, a lot of people are doing it. Now, a couple other things about the market. The versus cards, as we expected, are down. I mean, Saturdays, we, we talk about this every single Saturday, right? Prices on the promo teams always go down into Saturday. Ramos was like one point, what was he? 1.2 mil, 1.4 mil yesterday. We sold, uh, we saw uh, Ramos sell at. And yesterday for him, he went from like 948 to 1.1. He's been down um at 780 that 750 that i just saw pop up is actually kind of tempting to me because he is really rare and, and maybe he can go back up like 100k so we'll keep an eye on that um but this card has dropped down a lot a lot of the other versus cards have and i would imagine that with content coming today some of them would drop a little bit more so be careful with these i think their prices will dip off a little bit more today once again as we do normally see but that's kind of the market right now dipping in most areas except for those fodder areas and um, those evo cards as well because that's the most high part of the game at the moment now let's talk about sunday right we have more content coming today that could impact the market maybe some investing opportunity and of course stuff to look out for first of all the 86 plus hero player pick is going away it expires today it's sunday right we always talk about icon packs on sundays i do want to mention i mentioned it every sunday now since it's been added to the pack code because i know it's going to be released as an sbc before we can get it at level 35 the 87 plus base centurions or thunderstruck icon pack that'll be the first icon pack with thunderstrucks inside of it i do believe it's very possible for that to come today or yet again another icon player pick we'll have to see watch out for leaks today before content but i think one of those will be coming again they've been on a roll recently with hero pack or player pick then icon pack or player pick so we'll have to see and as you think about fodder we look at informs right we look at informs that are no, not forty three thousand coins they're about 34 to 35k uh insta selling at 34 a lot of them are around thirty five thousand coins if you're going to invest in informs yes they could go higher um if the sbc is really good today it's going to it's going to depend on the sbc for the packs right as we always talk about it's the packs that make the informs go up the most. The 84 fives made informs go up the most. Uh, yesterday, Maldini requires only one inform, so there's not a ton of demand there, but there is a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just didn't want to mention that. If you're going to go for informs, maybe stick to the higher tier. Like try to get an 86 rated inform, because if there's like an 87, 88 rated squads for an icon pack, that could mean that some of those higher rated informs have a higher increase than the 83 or 84 rated ones. So watch out for that. And once again, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to buy 90s for 58K because it's very expensive. But if we get an 88 or an 89 rated squad as a part of Icon SBC, um, then those could go further. 88s could go further as well. We club stock some of those um, on, when was it? On, I think on... Friday. I think we club stock some of those. So this higher tier fodder is moving up. But if we're going to get a good eye compact today, I think it's 86s, 87s, or 88s that you'd be wanting to watch the most. 86s are up a little. You can try to get them on bid for like 6k, low 6k range. And then 87s, they were like 10,000 coins flat. And as you can see yesterday, they started to rise nicely, closing in on 12k. They could go up more today. I think 87, that's a big gap. 11k to 19k from the 87s to 88s that's a pretty big gap there even 88s to 89 still a big gap i think that those two 87 and 8 based on an icon pack today have the most amount of potential in my opinion now also what is potentially coming today is that flashback sbc i think it's almost a guarantee guys that we get danny welbeck flashback sbc today and here's why it was in that daily or it was in the weekly tweet which they never even tweeted out but it was on the website that ea was going to drop a flashback sbc in the next week 
and um, that week timer would technically be up today. So I think that Wellback is going to end up being today. It seemed like a Saturday type SBC. They didn't drop it. They decided to go with Maldini instead. I think today is going to be well bet, guys. It's going to depend on the price. Be careful, once again, with cheaper strikers, prem strikers. All strikers across the game could drop if he's insane, but I would expect well bet to be somewhat cheap and hopefully a really good boost because a lot of the flashbacks this year have been solid. So just be careful with that. Maybe another SBC that could require informs and make them go up. We'll just have to see. And then I want to talk about this because this is what I mentioned earlier. There is another Evo leak that's supposed to come out today, the 7th, the cut inside evolution. The position is again right wing, and there are rumors that players fitting yesterday's Evo finisher will also fit tomorrow's Evo. Um, yeah, so he's also saying that he hopes we get a fire versus ice evolution, but the, at this point, there's nothing that really states that. So another reason to maybe hold on really maybe another day or two, unless you're like for sure going to do one player in finisher, then you st still have another finisher that you could do uh, maybe to hold on and wait and see what other combinations are possible after today um, when that next evolution is supposed to be released it might not be today but that's been the trend recently during winter wild cards they went evos on friday saturday sunday and sometimes monday maybe we're gonna have that again this weekend i just looked at this way car this this way it looks pretty nice as well being able to play right back right dang that's a sick card and with the four star weak foot upgrade for the usa evo it's not bad let me look at this vela as well i'm getting some uh, i'm getting some mls in the in the club a little bit more recently that's a pretty good card too. Finesse, Trivella Plus, Whip Pass, Incisive, and he's 4-4 four, four high low left-footed. He can play striker. Dang, that is a nice card. I like the cards with multiple alternate positions because then they're also like more chances to be evoed in the future. Uh, like right there with that Vela card. So I think I'm gonna have to do Kulusevsky personally for one of those Evos. But you know, I'm the way that I'm gonna look at this too is I gotta make myself some coins so that I can go ahead and end up affording these evos because i can't just be doing 200,000 coins and this 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 like you know doing evos like that all the time maybe that's a target for you like all right i'm gonna do this finisher evo when i can make 100,000 coins my coin balance from now until then i'm gonna make 100k then do the evo that way you're not like just constantly running out of coins all the time um uh, here's the two harry the harry kane and the benzema that i got at 50k uh i'm probably gonna put those in the club because i'm very very interested in doing the Maldini SBC. So again, just one last shout for the Pro Live cards. A lot of them fluctuate in price. Keep an eye on those and uh, watch more market movements today. Hopefully it's a decent day of content, but that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. See you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace out.